What's going on, everybody? I'm back in IRS thing, running the Porsche uh, for the GT3 test Daytona thing. So, um, as we, every time, so first kind of impressions, first time I drove this Porsche, uh, I really didn't like it. It feels like it has one of the, from what I remember, it feels like it has one of the worst turns, uh, turning, but it is the fastest top speed wise. Every time I race it, this thing flies around me. Uh, straight away so on the straight away and stuff so that's one thing about it but I will kind of do this laugh and see brakes are really good on it I can already tell that first corner that was brakes wise that was amazing never had a car hop like that when I went over that but brakes wise this thing is amazing power it doesn't get loose either this is pretty good just getting the power down very good power it does hop a lot but that was a pretty good infield right there. Straight away speed, this is where we need it. This is a flat six, I believe. It should be a flat six, of course. Um, oh wow, it's one of the slower ones on straight away. light shortcut but does have that kind of slow third gear fourth gear push uh, similar to the front engine cars which is the Mercedes Audi and Porsche does it or the uh, Ferrari does that a lot but straight away it is one of the faster ones 173 pretty much baseline uh, 144 on the on the yeah 144.5 on the time um, which isn't bad uh, little seems to be a lot or seems to be slower than I thought um, straightaway speed it does feel pretty good so like accelerating probably not much but it does seem to be pretty fast um, so as we get through it up, up it all the way. A hundred as the front end hits the uh, the black dot or the black line. First dotted line, second dotted line. Gets to the second dotted line just after. Um, seems to be accelerating. It's one of the slower ones, but it does get to the top speed. See what we hit down the back right here. 173, about on average. See what the straightaway speed is at the end. Um, so it does, it's probably hard to get used to. Straightaway speed, I always thought was better, which I think in draft. It is one of the faster ones. If you got same wing setting, this is gonna be faster. Kinda everywhere, I think. 173, so it is one of the faster ones on the straightaway. Accelerating, maybe not, but straightaway it is. Um, it does do pretty good. Burnouts, though. You can really swing the, uh, you can swing the rear end out of it, but this is the rear engine, but this does feel really, uh, really planted, uh, pretty stable. I have to talk to Doug about maybe trying this one. It does hop a lot, which I think that's just a Porsche thing. Maybe that's just kind of how they scan it in rear engine, but it does seem to bounce a lot. Um, I actually have a video coming out um, in the GT4 Porsche at Sonoma and spun it again, like that Rebel ring earlier or last week so 
I think it's just a Porsche thing. And so did I in the GT3 thing. So may, I don't know. I think if you just get it a little bit wrong, this thing does struggle. But in all, this is pretty, uh, you can get it down. Get consistent. Like if you're really consistent, I think this is one of the better ones to jump in, run your first one in. I don't think it is. Um, this thing's pretty good. This thing's cool. It doesn't have the front end turn in, which you can adjust with setup and stuff, but it doesn't have the turn in. I think it's one of the worst turn in. I think it's probably the worst turn in. Uh, center, it's pretty It's pretty decent on exit, like kind of chicane-ish. It's not, not the best, but if we go back and look. Um, let's see. Do a turnaround. Where do I do the? See right here. Yes, right here. All right. So straight away, kind of line up speed wise. I even lined up kind of far back um, for it. Wasn't the best start, but even hitting it, we only hit a hundred when the front bumper. Front bumper got to the dotted line, so from a dig, maybe not the best, maybe not the best part either. But uh, dotted line, one, two. So right when it kind of gets to the center of it, which is one of the slower ones, usually it's about same thing as what was that Ferrari straightaway speed wise, um, about same point. So I mean. Audi, Lamborghini, and I believe it was the Mercedes was hitting around here uh, where they would hit 150. So, But straight at the top end, it does end up getting to one of the higher top speeds, like sh down the front stretch and into the chicane when we did this test. It does seem to get into it. I mean, it drives pretty good. Like right there, that was a really stable. I don't know if it was just my line. Like that was just a good corner, but I got it pretty good planted. It was really easy to kind of pitch it in, break, got through it, got across, really good chicane. So, might have to consider this, um, but it is one of the best or funnest to, like one of the hard, not harder ones to drive. I think it's one of the easier ones to drive, but hardest to be fast in, um, if that makes sense. But, yeah, if you guys uh, enjoy. Subscribe. I will uh, see you all in the next one.